In this video, we will show you how to install and calibrate the Eco Fuel Level Sensor from Reptella. This sensor can be connected to all Reptella devices, except Plug 4. Go to the webpage doc.reptella.lt slash display slash ab slash fls and download FLS Configurator. You will need this on the computer you will use for the installation. Take the FLS out of the box. Assemble the configuration cable together with the RS-232 converter and connect it to your computer. Connect FLS configuration cable to 12 to 30 volts direct current power supply and powered on. Upon successful connection of FLS, configurator will ask to read FLS configuration. You may need to install RS-232 converter drivers. You can find RS-232 converter drivers at the same webpage. If you are using Device Center to configure device, no additional changes are needed. Just set up the mandatory parameters like APN, IP, and engine detection. If you are using advanced mode, do not forget to configure in-device side by enabling analog input 1 or analog input 2 by simply clicking Enable Common I.O. After this is done, don't forget to send configuration to the device. Once the FLS is successfully connected to the computer and the device has been configured, you are ready to go to the installation place. Before you go to the installation place, please make sure that you have all the tools and equipment required to install the fuel level sensor. You will find a detailed list of tools and equipment in the description of this video. Begin with inspecting fuel tank, checking how you can drain fuel. As you can see in this case, there is anti-fuel drain protection on this tank. To drain fuel, we will have to use FLS installation hole. Then inspect if geometrical center of tank is not occupied with original equipment or inner tank walls at drilling point. Mark the cutting area. It is recommended that it would be in the center of the tank. Prepare cutting area by removing any excess dirt on it. Drill a hole with 38 millimeter saw at slight angle. Remove metal shavings carefully, making sure that they don't fall in the tank. Remove leftover circle with screwdriver. Start draining all fuel from the fuel tank. we can start to prepare FLS for installation. Screw the flange on the FLS pipe and secure it tightly. Insert the assembled probe into the fuel tank and measure the distance from the flange to the fuel tank. When removing tube from tank, wipe off any excess fuel from it.
mark measurement distance first. Then add an additional 4.5 centimeters to find the cutting distance and mark it. Cut the probe at the marked length using a tube cutting tool. Do not cut the cord. Do not attempt putting on FLS cap before filing the edges. Polish the probe edges with a file. Insert the cap onto the end of the probe. Pull on the cord while pressing on the cap. Make sure the cord is tight. Tie the cord around the cap. Cut the remaining cord as close to the cap as possible. Insert the cap end into the probe. Tap on the probe with a finger. If you feel vibration, it means the cord is tight and has been tied correctly. Insert the O-ring into the measurement head. Put the measurement head on the probe. Mark the flange where is cable position after securing it tightly. Insert the probe into the tank and point the signal cable towards where it will be going out. Note the position of the signal cable on the flange. Make a marking 45 degrees counterclockwise from the cable. If you miss this step, the FLS wires will be facing a random direction after the installation. Route the 7 meters extension cable to the cabin. Avoid places that might get hot while the vehicle is running. For example, the exhaust pipe. Prepare wires for connection by removing some insulation and twisting the ends. Do the same with FM device wires. The FLS side cable that gives analog data is gray, but note that the analog inputs in different devices might be a different color. Therefore, pay attention to the GPS tracker pinout and connect the FLS either to analog input 1 or analog input 2. Use the insulation tape to secure wire connections. Connect FM device and FLS black wires, ground, together. Use the insulation tape to secure wire connections. Connect FM and FLS red, power supply wires, together. Use the insulation tape to secure wire connections.
Use an external power supply to power the measurement head. Connect the measurement head to your computer. Open the FLS configurator. Select your FLS type and then select the COM port. Click Connect. Check the FLS connection status. It should be connected. Before starting the installation, set the data averaging to eight samples. Then click Send CFG to upload the configuration to the FLS. Fill a tank or tub with enough fuel to submerge the probe. Submerge the probe fully into the tank. Take out the probe while holding the FLS in the air. Let fuel drip out for 15 seconds. Do not put the probe down before continuing configuration and calibration. For the next step, hold the probe by the wires. Make sure pipe does not touch anything. Go to the calibration section. Go to the dry calibration section. While holding the probe, click the calibrate button. Once again, make sure the probe is not touching anything. Once the calibration is complete and configuration uploaded, the sensor can be installed. Remove the measurement head. Prepare the area around the hole for installation. Clean it and add thin layer of silicone around the edges. Add a thin layer of silicone on both sides of the flange gasket. Insert the flange gasket onto the flange. Insert the probe into the tank. Position the flange according to the previously made markings. Screw in the flange bolts using a cordless drill. Finish screwing in the bolts by hand to avoid screwing the bolts too tightly. Clean the excess silicone after finishing installation. Run a security sill wire through the small holes on the flange. Use closest holes clockwise from signal cable. This is to ensure that the FLS cannot be unscrewed. Then screw the measurement head back into the pipe. Connect FM device to computer. Open configurator, establish connection with FM device, and open live I.O. data. Check the value of analog input 1 or analog input 2, depending on which analog input was used for the connection. The value should be around 500 millivolts when the tank is empty. Assign a visible value to zero liters in your sheet of paper or Excel file for uploading this information in the platform. 
add the known amount of fuel, wait until the value in live I.O. stops increasing, and assign it the amount of fuel that was added to the tank. For accurate results, add fuel 10 to 20 times. When the tank is full, the analog input value should be around 18,000 millivolts. Wait until analog input value settles after each time when fuel portion is added, then register it. Before finishing the installation, Set the data averaging to 64 samples. Click on Send CFG to upload the config to the FLS. Next step is adding seals on FLS head and cable. Make a loop around the signal cable with the seal wire. Run the seal wire through the holes in the seal and tighten the seal. After fixing seal, cut the excess seal wire. Guide a security seal wire through an opening on the cable connector. Make several loops around the signal cable connector with the seal. Guide the seal wire through the holes on the seal and tighten the seal. After fixing seal, cut the excess seal wire. Check with back office that the fuel data is being received before leaving the installation facility. Congratulations! Your installation was successful!